Drew Peterson has the ball, certainly a guy to keep an eye on today. He's been bothered by a bad back. His first shot is good. Can I ask a question? Were both these coaches... Enfield told us yesterday, we've got to get Peterson going. He was 2 of 12 in their last game. Sissoko says happy St. Patrick's Day. USC finished tied for second in the Pac-12 with Arizona. A team that lost to Princeton yesterday. Baseline flush is not there for Trey White. He took his eye off the rim and looked at Sissoko. Hauser in the corner for three. Book it. This year, USC is up eight points from the free throw line, which is the biggest jump in the country in major college basketball. And there's a great move there by Walker. Five and five in their last ten games. Walker may have gotten poked in the face right there. And you his nose. Aikens on the track. Left hand finish. I'll tell you what. Is running long periods of time now with guard play today. That would have been tough. By the way, Tyson Walker was hit in the face for Michigan State before this play. He was treated nose and mouth. The refs went to the monitor. Kobe Johnson, an excellent defender right up on Hauser. Johnson, a member of the Pac-12 all-defensive team, as Aikens with a two. Reese Dixon Waters has entered for USC, the Pac-12 sixth man of the year. Peterson for three. Yes! And Andy Enfield said he had no concerns about the early start. He said, if we can't get up for an NCAA tournament game, we don't belong to be here. It's Walker counted at one. Tyson Walker, who's so quick, he couldn't stay in front of him. They have taken advantage of all these USC switches in this game so far. Is nothing. Walker baseline puts it up. Peterson defends him, but Walker hits again. Yeah, this Michigan State defense in the half court has been really tough. To Johnny Wright to a cutting Johnson inside, and that stops the straight active head coach. You know, we were together in Maui his first year. We were reminiscing about that Maui tournament yesterday. Dixon Waters. Nine times in 41 years before that. Hauser for three. Yes, his second of the half. You know, the most dangerous guy. Nice hand for Carson Cooper. Only averages five minutes per game, but Tom Izzo trusting the freshman here in the first half. Sissoko with the flush. Michigan State with its largest lead of the day. Dixon Waters. Yes. Holloman running the point for the Spartans. He'll pull up and hit the freshman from Minneapolis. Long drive, as we told you, from East Lansing. But great stage here at Nationwide Arena. What a great defense by Holloman that time. And Morgan hits another. And the infield told us yesterday defending the three was his biggest key to this game for the Trojans. Ellis, nice pass to Morgan. Good job in transition. Oh, they lost them. How about that pass? And Morgan again. Aikens is a really good defender. Stay too long. Again, it's Morgan in double figures with 10 points. On the offensive end, the Spartans have missed five of their last six shots with three and a half to go before halftime. All oh, spin move rejected by Kajani Wright. Ellis, and he's got his first bucket of the day. Kohler, turnaround from the baseline. How about it for the freshman from American Fork, Utah? With Hauser at the scorer's table set to check in. Johnson catching shoot three is good, and USC has the lead. And Boogie Ellis, one for six to begin this day. Hogard, how about that? Got to the spot. Dixon Waters, that's a three. It's good for Reese Dixon Waters. Final five seconds of the first half. Hogard, down low, turnaround, it's good. And what a first half. Hogard in the corner. Drives into the paint, puts up a shot, gets the roll. 
Let's check in with Jamie Erdo. The best guard Michigan State has faced all year, which is high praise knowing their strength of schedule this season as Walker knocks it down. Ellis drives and this one goes down. Almost every seat taken and a lot of Michigan State fans, so intensity at an all-time high as Hauser looking for his third three. Yes! 11 points for Joey Hauser. Ellis on the other end, off class for two, and Boogie Ellis is starting to heat up a little bit. Yeah. We'll see how long Tom Izzo keeps Hogard on the bench with three fouls. Walker splits the D, right to the hoop, and lays it in. That's the second time he did that. Aikens on the drive, and counted at one. Walker, nice feed, Cooper with a finish. White had it poked away and a turnover by the Trojans. Walker, speed in the open court, missed it, but Mr. Cooper with the follow. Peterson for three. And Morgan gets the offensive rebound, but USC now two for nine in the second half, and then Kobe Johnson rattles the rim. Dixon Waters, Good oh, pass. Ah. feed to Morgan, who's having a day. And they end up with a dunk. And Sissoko quickly hops off the bench for Michigan State. Hall inside, yes, tough shot for Malik Hall. Break that pretty easily. I broke one once, and it took me a little bit more than it took Izzo. I've seen you break a wedge around the <laughs> greens as well. Peterson's step back is good. Oh. And a steal by Hogard. Comes in all alone. AJ lays it in. I think Peterson should have just shot that through all. Oh, Sissoko so with the block. The second half defensive intensity has really picked up for Michigan State. Hall with position and connects. Team than USC. They just bigger, stronger guys. Morgan the follow. Hauser from the corner. Good. Has been unbelievable. Akins from the corner. What are your pop culture, uh, whatever yeah, you want to call it. Very current with a friend. <laughs> Peterson, no good. <laughs> I guess I'm that far behind. And that three from the outside is there for Kobe Johnson. So none remaining for the Trojans. Johnson again, yes. Back to back for Kobe. Peterson inside, and he hits. This is Hornery banking in a three. Harrison Hornery, the sophomore from Australia, tied at the half, but Tom Izzo and the Spartans get it done after halftime, and Michigan State is moving on to the second round.